Catalog and Time is designed to hold and manage products for the production of a website or a catalog. In this demonstration we're looking at a medical catalog and we're looking at the content of products and product groups. The product group is obviously a container for a number of products as in a table on a catalog. We want to hold pictures and we want to hold descriptions and we want flexibility so that we can hold all the respective bits of information needed for a website or a catalogue which may include prices, um, attributes which are columns in a table and total flexibility to hold the product we need and to produce the design that we want. So what we're going to do now is take the products that we're looking at here and put them on a catalogue page. And we do that by way of pages. And here we have a list of pages. These are virtual pages which are held in Catalogue and Time. Um, let's look at this one in particular. And we see that we've already got some content on the page. So let's just take it off. Um, or some of it off and then we can put it back on again to show how it works and not to take too much time. So what we'll do is we'll add the subsection um, title to the page and at this point we're offered a template. So we'll select the template family heading Um, and if we don't want that, we can put it to one side and use it later. Um, and we could say, let's instead do a section heading thermostats and thermometers. We can now add a product family, so that's the picture, the description, and in a moment we'll add all of its contents but in the meantime we're going to say we want um, two-thirds of a page left-hand page landscape these templates are totally configurable by the user and we can choose where on the page we want that to go pretty accurately but we're not trying to do the job of a DTP operator that comes later we now want to add the table of products on here and we select this time a different product, a different template that relates to a table with two attributes. Um, and again, we can either accept the positioning there or we can move it up a bit. Now we want to see our work in Quark Express. So we transfer everything. First of all, um, we make up the page and then we output it ready for Quark Express or InDesign the program supports both and we go to our page makeup, makeup program and we see an additional menu item and that allows us very simply or the DTP operator very simply to import boxes and that gathers all the information that we've chosen for these pages and it creates a layout. Now the layout can be either complete, in which case there's a bit of a straight jacket in that you can only have that layout or it's flexible as in this case where you can work in Quark Express and anything you do is preserved so if in the future there are changes to content, all you need to do is do update contents and you notice that it goes through every box checking for updates but doesn't change any work that's been done on the design. In a nutshell, that's Catalog and Time. Thank you.